Welcome back, everyone, and I'm here again with Jeff Grant, SBR contributor, and today we're going to be looking at that college football game between Mississippi State and LSU. How are you doing this morning, Jeff? Fantastic, Dax. Really looking forward to breaking down one of the premier games in week four of the college football season, as this could go a long way in determining the winner in the Southeastern Conference. Right, man. I was actually checking some of the stats here, and I saw that Mississippi State has dropped 14 consecutive games against LSU. Now, in your opinion, Jeff, do you actually think that, think that the Bulldogs could be capable of keeping up with the Tigers and even possibly being a challenge for them in Baton Rouge this Saturday night? This is without a doubt the Bulldogs' best opportunity, especially when playing in Tiger Stadium and beating LSU. They've been really overmatched in this series, not just 14 consecutive losses, but Dax, the Bulldogs have dropped 21 of their last 22 meetings against the Tigers. But I believe this is the best opportunity for the Bulldogs to capture a victory in this series. All right, man, I actually found another stat that says that LSU held opponents without points for 31 consecutive possessions. Now, could it be possible that the Tigers do it again and shut out a third consecutive opponent? It's gonna be very difficult to shut out this Mississippi State team, 131 points in the first three games. That's the most that the Bulldogs have scored in their first three games in more than 70 years. So I'm not expecting a shutout effort and that streak of 31 consecutive possessions dates back to LSU's season opening victory over Wisconsin, a game that the Badgers were actually leading the Tigers pretty late in that one. And then LSU has played the likes of Sam Houston State and Louisiana Monroe. So this is a major step up in class because I was listening to the Les Miles radio show this morning and preparing for this video. And he already mentioned that, yeah, Wisconsin, everybody thought that would be a difficult game, but he already really banged on the Big Ten Conference and mentioning uh, that Wisconsin hails from the Big Ten, which is obviously inferior to the SEC. So Mississippi State will be LSU's biggest test to date. All right, well, speaking of Les Miles, he's 43-2 and two as LSU's head coach when playing on a Saturday night inside Tiger Stadium. Now, in your opinion, could that actually be good enough reason to actually back them as home favorites in this one? I think this is going to be the case, Dax. You're going to have a lot of people backing the Tigers on the money line, potentially in a parlay situation, because to me, it looks like the line is absolute, absolutely where it needs to be. Um, it opened up as, at 7 on Sunday afternoon at Bet Online. That's one of the offshore books that normally sends out the opening line. Was bet up to 9, and then when Pinnacle came into the market, Pinnacle opened it up at 10. So there's a three-point variance there and has never gone above 10 and is sitting at 9.5. So, yes, the Tigers are going to be very difficult to play against in terms of money line wager for the Bulldogs, but I'm going to simply look to take the points in this contest because one of the main trends, Dax, that I'm looking at, especially with the young team, the Tigers, you got to remember, they only brought back 12 starters from last year's team, a team that had a quarterback that threw for 3,000 yards, two 1,000-yard receivers, and a thousand yard running back while on the other end Mississippi State brought back eight offensive and eight defensive starters and they've been looking forward to this game since really the summer so I think there's an advantage of taking Mississippi State here especially with Miles being just 11 and 24 against the spread at home against SEC opponents under less miles. Now, are you going to take the, the plus 10 at Penny, or are you going to go a little lower? I mean, it would be obvious to take the, the most points, right? I think you need to try to get that 10 because I think this number is going to fall uh, lower and lower as we get close to the kickoff. I think basically a lot of people had money on the sidelines. Some people grabbed the 7 because that was probably going to be the most advantageous number of getting the Tigers. But now that it's basically nine and a half, ten in the market, I don't see it going higher than that because any ten and a half at this point would immediately get it taken off the board. People are going to back the Bulldogs at that price. So I grab them at plus ten. All right. Good stuff, my man. Thank you once again for all the valuable college football insights. And we'll talk some more football tomorrow, my man. Thank you. No problem. And for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.